guys, and in this video, I'm going to be teaching you about the differences of Windows 10 Home and Windows 10 Pro. So, let's start off with the price. So, Windows 10 Home, originally, Microsoft made Windows 10 Home $119. Now, that is actually not that bad, but if you take Windows 10 Pro, it doesn't have much new features with it. It costs $200 to get an official license from Microsoft. Now that is really stupid. Like, who would pay $200 for an OS that is not much different than the one that is $80 worth? Okay, okay, let's just be real. Now, the differences between Windows 10 Home and Windows 10 Pro. Windows 10 Home is obviously from your for your home PC, and Pro is for your work PC or whatever you do. So basically, let's start off with the first noticeable difference between Windows 10 Home and Windows 10 Pro. So basically, I'm going to be talking about the features that Windows Pro has that Home doesn't. It would be really stupid of me to talk about the features that Windows Home has that Pro doesn't, because it's really weird, because it's Pro has the features that Windows 10 Home does. Anyways, so yeah, the features. So Windows 10 Pro, I think the feature that most Home users would find useful, useful in Pro is delaying updates. Yes, that is right. You might have th thought, oh, Matthew, in Windows 10 Home, you can delay updates. Yes, you can, but only for like seven days or a couple hours or something. But for Pro, you can delay it more than a month. <sighs> Pro sounds stupid when you put it up against Windows 10 Enterprise, which is for another video. But Enterprise allows you to delay the updates forever. Magical. Do you guys want Windows 10 Enterprise now? Do you want yeah, I know you guys want Enterprise now, probably, because you heard of all the good things about it, but this is Home versus Pro, not Pro versus Enterprise, so keep it on topic. Yeah, so that is the thing that most Home users would probably want from Pro, but to be honest, it doesn't really matter. But also, I forgot to tell you, on my PC that I'm using currently, I have Windows 10 Pro, and it is not that much different from Windows 10 Home. Seriously, you don't need Pro. Like, you don't need it. It's, like, it's stupid. It's stupid! Microsoft, you made it so stupid! Yeah, so, yeah. Cool. So, another feature that Pro has that Home doesn't have is Pro has something called BitLocker, which is full drive encryption, or full disk encryption. So, you, ba so you can basically encrypt... encrypt Encrypt! Encrypt! So you can basically encrypt your entire hard drive. And this is great for laptops too, because I'm actually running this on a laptop, but my computer calls it a desktop. I'm not too sure anymore. But yeah, that feature is great for laptops, because if somebody takes out your hard drive and puts it into, the, into another PC, they have to, they cannot get your data because they have to enter in a password before the computer even boots up for BitLocker. I tried to do that on Windows 10 Pro, because I have Pro, and uh, basically it didn't work because my computer doesn't meet the system requirement requirements for it. I'm not too sure, but my computer is actually pretty good. It has an Intel Core i5 5350U. 8 gigabytes of RAM. The graphics card kind of sucks though, but whatever. Um, it's not a bad computer. It's like it's like probably average for most people, but yeah, cool. So now we're gonna get into the real professional stuff that most professionals would use. So first, starting up with hyper virtualization or hyper V for short. So hyper V allows you to run basically multiple operating systems in Windows 10 Pro without third-party software. So it's like native support for running different OS's in Windows 10, which is pretty useful if you're like a developer who wants to see if something is safe enough to use on your entire, in, like in your own PC. It's basically, it's basically like VirtualBox, VMware, or Parallels, but natively supported by Windows, which is big thumbs up for professionals, not home users like me, because I'm living in a house. Like, you see this house? It's, it's my bedroom. Yeah, it's not like a... Yeah, and here's my desktop. Hi, Swimmer! He's swimming in my Windows 10 Pro! Sorry about that. But anyways, you get the point. So you have Hyper-V in it, too. Um, let me think of other things. Oh, yeah, another thing for Windows 10 Pro is that, guess what you get? Remote desktop connection. For, for professionals. And I'm, I'm not a professional. 
So remote desktop connection. I tried to connect to Pablo's computer because I'm running Pro. And he told me his username and laptop name and stuff. I tried to connect to it, but then I soon realized, hmm, remote desktop connection is completely useless. And do you know why? Remote desktop connection is useless because you can only use ho your home, like Windows and home PCs to connect to a pro PC. So that means you cannot connect a pro PC to a home PC. It only has to be from a home PC to a pro PC. So Pablo was running Windows 10 Home, and I was running Windows 10 Pro, and my Pro computer was trying to connect to Pablo's home computer, and obviously that wouldn't work, so that's kind of stupid. Oh yeah, I forgot to tell you about this, guys. The RAM, the maximum RAM amount for Windows 10 Home is 128 gigabytes on Home. I don't know anyone, even in like a server, who would need 128 gigabytes of RAM. Like, who would need that, especially for Windows 10 Home users? And you guessed it, guys, for Windows 10 Pro, guess how much RAM you can have in your system. I'll give you three seconds. Three, two, one. Two terabytes of RAM in Windows 10 Pro! Man, who would need that RAM? I mean, you would need that RAM? I mean, two terabytes of RAM would not even be enough to run Google Chrome. And that's about all the differences, except for the RAM and stuff. Nobody would really need Windows 10 Pro. So, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Smash a like, subscribe, and let me know if you guys are maybe going to up upgrade to Windows 10 Pro anytime soon. I'll probably make a video tomorrow uh, uh, explaining about Windows 10 Pro to Enterprise, maybe Enterprise to Education or something. I'll also probably talk about Windows 10 Education in another video. That would be kind of fun. So, hope you guys enjoyed this Windows 10 Home versus Pro. And tell me in the comments which one is right for you. If you're a pro, you'll probably want Windows 10 Pro. But I, I, I have Windows 10 Pro. I don't need it. I have an activated version of Windows 10 Pro. Um, I don't need it. But it's kind of cool to have on the bottom of my screen. It literally says Windows 10 Pro build 18.3. Or it says Windows 10 Pro build 18362.19h1 underscore release dot. 19.0.318-1202. I don't even know what that means, but it, it, it says Windows 10 Pro on the bottom of my screen. So it feels kind of cool to have that, but no, you don't need Windows 10 Pro. You don't need it. I mean, it's not worth it to pay the extra $80 to get frickin' Pro. So d d d d don't, don't get it unless you're like a professional or you need the features. You absolutely need the features that I talked about in the video. Like, who would need two terabytes of RAM, man? So, if you guys enjoyed, smash a like, subscribe, and goodbye! Windows 10 Pro is useless, just by the way.